Hello friends and family, what a nice blessing to spend time with you again in devotions. I want to encourage you out of Mark 16. It says here in verse 17, And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils, and they shall speak in new tongues. Verse 18, They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. The scripture is talking about how we as Christians, as believers, for all those who believe, we have the power of God inside of us, and when we lay hands on the sick they shall recover and then we also have the power inside of us to release people from the devil's work in their life from what the enemy is trying to do with people and there's one amazing testimony that we've just experienced at Luri Park this man Ian he was under the influence of demonic things you could see the way he was speaking he was always babbling and talking a lot of nonsense he was like drooling from his mouth and uh, they were, it was just an, an evil thing that you that you felt when you were around him, and it was just bad. And uh, as we just continued to minister the gospel unto him, he ended up in the right place after a while. I think he got onto medication as well, and he came to us apologizing for all the things that he said and all the things that he that he used to say. And he said, "Man, um, I'm in my normal mind now. I would like to come and join your meetings that you have with the people." And he started coming. And one night there was a, a time of prophecy. We just laid hands on him, started speaking in tongues over him and just downloaded what the Holy Spirit had for him. And while we were speaking to Ian, we just saw this picture of him as a young man carrying wood and uh, really working like a slave as a young boy. And as we, we saw that, we just uh, started ministering and saying to him, uh, Ian, you are not a slave. You are a child of God. You are one of the sons of God. God has given you a high place in his kingdom. And as we spoke that, we just... Uh, broke that spirit of slavery over his life and Ian came to a place where where he started experiencing God through that prophetic word and uh, at that moment as we prayed over him that that spirit of slavery was broken but it was also the the drooling stopped right there it was an instant miracle and from that moment on his, his mark, mask was always wet and you could see the, the drool come out of his mouth but it stopped completely and uh, he was completely healed. So I just want to encourage you, this stuff is real, it works. When you lay hands on the sick, they will recover. When you start speaking a word, a word in season for somebody, start encouraging them, something will happen. The Bible has given us the power of the gospel to share with this world and to see the works of the enemy destroyed in people's lives. So enjoy this testimony with us and uh, you are highly favored and deeply loved of God. Ons daar mee gepraat, my pa is of jy my ken, my pa is of jy my gesien het, uit die bos, die daar oudra, hoe ek al gekap het, my ou pa laf in die koffie, vir die ambil stof, om koffie te maak, en ook in die baaks toe geloop het, daar wonne ek, maar jy het my nog nooit gesien, daar die tyd, ek was een jong sien, ek was op laar school gewees, daar nog een oudstof op school, en jy het daar maar gepraat, my pa is of jy my al gesien het, maar dit, 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 Dit het van die Heer net een profesie te spreken van die persoon sy beledig daar gebeur. Die machtig uit my ware geloof het ek gaan skou om te aanvaar. Weet in die moeie dat is in die uitdaging wat ek heb aan my leven as die verslavende persoon nie gewees kan wat moeilike te ervaar om my probleme te bekom. As vir my om te aan skou dat die machtig uit my God reere waar werkelijk waar is. Werre. En ek is dankbaar vir daar die gebed wat my kooi het op die waarschijnlijk nie vir opgehaal. Die verdwaan jou kooi lukse met jou bote? Ja, ek het gekooi diep dan was op na daar die aard. Ek sê dat die jaar die ek was kamer nie so, die ding as die hele tyd nat. Ek weet nie om te draai nie, hulle gee my een ding om aan te sê, ek wil het hier los op nie. Maar dit gebeur nie. Nou, sê die aand toe ons vir jou gebed het daar die aand, toe verdwaan het. Ja, daar die aand verdwaan het nie. Rechter? Rechter waar, dit is net verdwaan. Dit is wonderlijk man. Ek was dankbaar vir daar die gebed wat ek nou afgesê. Die herense kracht is wonderlijk, nee. Maak jou vry. Jy sê, jy lyk of hy vrees het op jou oor het is. Ja, dit is machtig. Ek doel dankbaar.